Functional Endoscopic Sinus Surgery, F-E-S-S. -S. What is that? Uh, that's the evolution of sinus surgery. As we were talking uh, earlier, uh, as we began to recognize how the sinuses function, uh, we started to focus our attack on the sinuses to try to return them back to the way they were before they uh, were chronically infected. And so we talked a little bit about the osteomiatal complex, which is the natural opening of the sinus. And now surgery focuses on, tr on that unit, really. Uh, we try to look into the nose with a fiber optic telescope and open the natural sinus opening. And the is that easy to see? It, it is with a, with a telescope, it really is. And you look at, and you can find where you're wanting to do this. So what are you looking for? What's the unsinate bone? Uh, the sinus uh, cavity obviously has an opening into the nose and you can consider that it's round. And there's a little bony shelf that sort of inserts on the front edge of that round window and goes backwards. So if you look at it from behind, you can see into the sinus cavity but it, it blocks from the view from the front end. So when that little uncinate bone comes off, which is part of a traditional, or of a functional endoscopic sinus surgery, then you have a nice wide open sinus passageway and you can look right into the maxillary sinus and see what's going on. You establish drainage, ciliary function beats towards that opening uh, and the sinus cleans itself the way it's supposed to. So that seems like no brainer. That's what you wanna do, you wanna do that type of surgery so that you can restore function. Uh, what are the results like? Excellent. Uh, I, I would say 90, 95% of people who have sinus surgery get well. There are, there are a handful of people that have immunologic problems or who make polyps who continue to have some intermittent difficulty. I think you could consider that they would be better from the surgery, but maybe never fix. They're the chronic sinus patients that are out there in this world. And uh, we're getting smarter on what the reason for that is from an immunologic standpoint, and we're beginning to focus our thoughts on how do we address the immunology of sinus infections uh, and, and why that person can't mount an immune response to fight off infection like they should. You would think you establish drainage, it's good, but it's not all plumbing. Plumbing is a lot of it, but it's not all plumbing. There's a lot that, is, that has to do with how each person can look at an infection or an inflammatory response and attack it 